In this lesson, we're going to take a look at something called exponents. Exponents are yet another way that you can begin to manipulate integers. And so today we're going to uh, learn the three different ways that we can show exponents. And so your goal for today is I can write expressions in exponential, in expanded, and in standard form. So let's go ahead and get started. But remember that you can always pa pause, fast forward, or rewind the video as you need to. All right, so here I have a 4, and then there's a tiny 5 on the top right-hand corner. So the 4 is called the base, and that's going to be the largest number in terms of size. And then up here, you have a tiny 5 on the top right corner, and that is going to be called your exponent or your power. And the way that you say this is 4 to the 5th power or 4 to the exponent of 5. And I'm going to show you more about what that means in just a second. But first, let's talk about what an exponent is. So an exponent is a number that tells you how many times the base number is being multiplied with itself. So I'm going to write over here 4 to the 5th power. That was what was on the last slide. And again, I want you to look at the picture while I read the definition to you. So an exponent, and remember this is the exponent right here, is a, is a number that tells you how many times the base, so here's the base, is being multiplied with itself. So here's my base of 4. I'm going to multiply 4 by itself this many times. So 4 times 4, times 4, times 4, times 4. That means 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And that's how I satisfy the 5 there. Okay? But that is what it's telling me to do. So let's take a look at the three different ways that we can go ahead and write exponents. So the first one is going to be called standard form. Okay? Standard form is a fancy way of saying, what is the actual answer? So if I give you 9 to the second power, what I'm asking you to do is go ahead and calculate 9 times 9, and that is 81. The second way that we can write exponents, so that was the first way, and then the second way we can write exponents is expanded form. When you think about the word expanded, you want to think about something that's stretching out, if you're expanding your arms, okay? And that's all you're going to do. You're not going to give me the actual answer to the problem. You're just going to expand it out. So again, when I give you 9 to the second power, stretch it out for me. What does 9 to the second power mean? Well, it means 9 times 9. 9. The third way that we can write um, exponents is in something called exponential form. And just by looking at the root word of exponential, you'll see exponent. And all that means is you're going to write the base, which here is 9, and the exponent, which is 2. All right, let me go ahead and show you some examples. So I'm actually going to start all the way down here in expanded form. So my problem is 4 to the third power, and I want to expand that out, okay? I want to stretch it out. So what that means is 4, the base, multiplied by itself three times. 4 times 4 times 4. And that is my answer in expanded form. That is what I'm looking for. I'm going to jump over here to standard form now. So again, I have a base of 4 to the third power. And if you remember, standard form, I'm looking for the actual answer to the problem. So what is 4 times 4 times 4? Well, I'm going to rewrite it over here so I can actually do the math. Well, 4 times 4 is 16. And then i got to bring this guy down. And 16 times 4 is 64. Okay? Now I'm going to move over here to exponential form. So I give you a base of 4, and you have an exponent of 3. How do you write that in exponential form? Well, you actually write it the exact same way, because there's a base and there is an exponent. And so that is your answer. Okay, let's take a look at another example. And again, I'm going to start down here in expanded form. So I have a base of 8 and an exponent of 2. 
that does not mean eight times two. It means eight times itself two times. So it means eight times eight. That's one and that's two. And that's what our exponent says, okay? I'm gonna jump up here to standard form. Again, my base is eight and my exponent is two, which means that it's eight times eight. What is eight times eight? It is 64, same as the last answer. And then I'm gonna jump over here to an exponential form. I have a base of eight and an exponent of two. And how do you write that in exponential form? the same exact way, eight to the second power. Some of you may be thinking, why is there even exponential form if you just rewrite the same answer? And that would be a really good question. The reason why is because sometimes I will say, what is eight times eight in exponential form? And in that case, you're gonna have to realize, okay, the base is eight and it's being multiplied times itself once and twice, okay? So you'll sometimes have to look at it from expanded form. All right, let's take a look at another example here. So I'm going to start down at expanded form again. I have a base of 2 and an exponent of 4. That means I'm going to multiply 2 times itself 4 times. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Check my work. That's 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm good to go. Up here to expanded form, or sorry, to standard form, and remember that standard form means that I'm looking for the actual answer. I have a base of two and an exponent of four. So I'm gonna write that out so I can begin to multiply it. Two times two is four. The other two times two is four. Four times four is 16. Over here, what is two to the fourth power in exponential form? Well, my base is two, my exponent is four, and so my answer is two to the fourth power. All right, so here's an interesting example because my exponent is one. So again, I'm gonna start down here in expanded form. Remember, the big number is your base and then the tiny number up top is your exponent. What is this asking you to do? It's asking you to multiply the 10 times itself one time. There you go, that's it. How many times is it asking you to write it? Once, not twice, not three times, but once. So your answer is 10, okay? How would you write it in standard form? Well, in standard form, it's asking you to take 10 and multiply it times itself once, and so again, your answer is 10. Over here in exponential form, same thing. Your base is 10, your exponent is one, and it's asking you what is the exponential form? 10 to the one power. All right, so one big important example here to note is when you have something that is to the zero power. Any number to the zero power is going to give you an answer of one. It could be 10 to the zero power or it could be 1 million to the zero power. It does not matter how large or small the number is, the answer is always going to be one. All right, so. You're gonna go ahead and try some. The first um, three, they're gonna want you to write it in expanded form. Remember, extant, expanded form means to stretch it out. All right. If you are not done, go ahead and pause the video. And if you are done, let's go ahead and go over it. So here we have six to the fifth power. How do we stretch it out? Our base is six, so that's the number we're gonna be multiplying and we need to do it five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Over here, I have a base of seven and my exponent is two. So my seven is gonna be what's multiplied and how many times? Twice, one and two. Over here, my base is three and my exponent is four. So I know the three is what's gonna be multiplied and then I'm gonna do it four times. So one, two, three, and four. All right, let's move on to some exponential form here. So this is what I was showing you earlier. It's not always going to give it to you in exponential form. 
So remember, in exponential form, you need to give the base and then the exponent at the top. All right, if you're not done, go ahead and pause the video. So let's go ahead and go over this. Here we have our eights being multiplied by each other, which means that the base is eight. How many times is it being multiplied? One, two, and three, so it's eight to the third power. In this example here, nine is the base because that's what's being multiplied, and it's being multiplied one, two, three, four, five different times to each other, so nine to the fifth power. And the bottom one, the base is three, and it's being multiplied times itself once and twice, so three to the second power. All right, last one, we're gonna go ahead and try some standard form. Remember, standard form, it's going to be asking you for the answer. All right, if you're not done, go ahead and pause the video so that we can go over it. So, in the first example, we have two to the third power. The base is two, and it's multiplied times itself three times. So here I did two times two times two, and my answer was eight. For um, example B, I have a base of four, and it's being multiplied times itself four times. So here I wrote four times four times four times four. And you'll see it's a lot easier to write it out in expanded form in order to solve the answer so you can solve it in smaller pieces. So right here I have four times four, which is 16. And over here I also have four times four, which is 16. And I had to go ahead and multiply 16 times 16 where I got 256. So you can start to see the higher that that exponent is, the bigger your number is going to get, a lot bigger. And then for the last one, I had 7 to the 0 power. And if you remember my rule, anything to the 0 power is going to be 1. All right, that is the end of the exponents lesson. Let me know if you have any questions in class.